Oh, Jesus. Hey, glad you came back. So today, um, I'm doing a somewhat of a challenge. I know, I know you say, look, you don't do challenges. Uh, I, I really don't, really. You know, but sometimes they catch my eye, so I'm doing this one. This is a 323 Big and Bold Lettuce Wrap Challenge. Now, this is uh, by Get Lit With Mo and Big Mac. Okay? So, if you look in the description, their link will be down there. So, what it consists of, um, three meats, two sauces, and then three, at least three toppings, right? For your lettuce wrap. Oh, sorry about that. For your lettuce wrap. So, now, I'm going to take it out. It's a healthier alternative. I'm going to go for it. Hope you like it. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a lot of challenges, but this one, you know, it caught my eye, so the brain meat's kicked in, and we're going for it. Hey, this is Shraw Shraw. That's the best elevator music I ever heard. Okay, here we have our mayonnaise. Have our German mustard, spicy mustard. It's not really that spicy, but I like it. We have our romaine and our green leaf lettuce. We have our pickles, tomato slices, red onions. Here we have our turkey, our black forest ham, our honey ham, American cheese. We have our Swiss cheese. And here we have our crunchy lettuce, or our crunchy water. That's what it is, just water. Crunchy water. And let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we want to do, now that our lettuce is here, we want to put down, I think I'm going to put down the turkey first. Let's put this turkey down first. because we need a base to put more of our condiments. You see? We'll put our ham, our black forest ham, that down. Now let's put our honey ham down. Okay. Now, we're gonna put our mayo. Gotta have mayo. And then we're gonna put our mustard. Yeah. Spread this mustard and mayo a little bit. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna put our cheese. Start with the American cheese. Yes. Put our Swiss cheese on it. And I want to put some red onion. Throw some uh, tomato on it. Some pickles. Oh yeah. Pickles on it. And then our healthy lettuce, put it on it. So the base of this channel, this challenge is three, two, three, right? This challenge is by Get Lit With Mo and Big Mac. 
if you haven't seen their channels, go to their channels. And links in the description. Check them out. So basically, you need uh, it's three, two, three. So three meats. As you saw, my three meats were turkey, honey ham, and black forest ham. You need two sauces. Now, in my case, my two sauces were the mayonnaise and the German mustard. And then you need at least three toppings. My toppings were the red onions, right? The pickles, the tomatoes, the cheese, and also more of the uh, a more healthier uh, lettuce, more nutrient rich lettuce, which was the romaine and the uh, green leaf lettuce. Okay. Now I have a lot of um, crunchy water here, the iceberg lettuce, you know, because you know, your mama straw she likes that, you know, over the other lettuce. So we have abundance of that. So I'm using it. So now let's see if we can wrap this bad boy up. And this is going to be a, a monster. Get it wrapped. Bring it in. And that's why I'm using this paper. You know, to help wrap it. Bring the ends in. Because this is going to be a beast. And there we go. But I didn't want to make too much of a mess. Now let's cut this guy in half. Look at that. And there you have it. See that? And there you have it. Now I guess the only thing to do and just start eating this bad boy. Mm. Healthy lettuce wraps. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't eat lettuce wraps that often. And I certainly... When I do eat them, I don't pack them this full. But they are a healthy alternative. Now, like any food, you can get all out of control and make it unhealthy. But try to keep it healthy if you can. Mm-hmm. Now, you're supposed to challenge some folks on this. And I know I'm behind the game because I don't really do challenges. So pretty much everybody's done this most likely. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to go with my first two. It's a combo, but it's two nonetheless. Rotten and Jonelle. You do this. Even you, Rodney. Come on. You can put, put the meat on it. There three different types of meat. Throw it on there. Mm. I forgot my napkin. And the blue can's gone. Oh, that might be a problem. We'll we'll power through. And Jonelle, we'll break out your challenge glasses. Let's do this. Right? Now My third person, I'm going to give her a shot. Courtney Bradford, you've also been challenged. Now, nah.
I can say this. With all the juices and so forth coming out of this sandwich, I'm glad I got gloves on. Mm. So glad. So while I'm eating this, put in the comments, what combinations would you put together if you were doing this, right? And also, if you're watching this and I didn't call your name out, hey, do the challenge. I'm not saying you're challenged, what I'm saying is, it's a nice healthy alternative that you can get creative with. Not bad. And also, when you're doing stuff like this and you come up with some crazy or semi-crazy uh, food combinations, you might find out that you like something that you really didn't think you would. Mm. Mm. All this crunchy water. Mm. I should have threw some bacon on this, but I should have did. Mm. Now, the reason I added the romaine and the green leaf lettuce, because this iceberg lettuce, this crunchy water, doesn't offer any nutritional benefits. I mean, sure, it tastes good on the burger. Yeah. But it does nothing for you. I mean, I guess if you want to nitpick, you can say, yeah, well, it gives you a little bit of water. It does. But that's all it gives you. Mm-hmm. So I watch a lot of YouTube videos throughout the day, every day, all day. And there's not too many challenges that catch my eye. This one did also, just like the last one I did. Because the way I adjusted my diet, you know, for health reasons, there are things I eat, things I stay away from, things I limit myself on. Now, in doing that, I've lost over 40 pounds. 
Now, I was looking at some of my older videos, and you can look for yourself. Look at my face, look. Look at my face. All right, that's enough, that's enough. I feel your love, I feel your love. That's enough. Now, for example, go back. Look at my video. I think it's titled something like, you know, eating five pounds of, of uh, crawfish or crawdads. I was over 40 pounds heavier. Wasn't eating properly. Look at my face and my body on that one. Big difference. It's shocking, actually. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah. It, I was, you know, a little heavier, you know. Triple extra sexy, but... Look at that. Is that not nice? Can you see it? Is that not nice? Mm. Full of confidence. You know, but when I look at myself now, especially the face-wise, and look at my face on that particular video, I don't know what was going on with my face. You know, eating unhealthy, I was throwing caution to the wind. Now that I've changed that, I see that there are, or there were, blemishes on my face, for example, that are now no longer there. which is crazy. So like they say, you are what you eat. Now, based on the way I looked back then, I don't know what I ate, because I don't know what it looked like that, but it's a lot better now. Yeah, my face is thin. I mean, you can see the high cheekbones, like, I mean, anyway. My face is not so much a pie face like it used to be. You know, but it's okay. I'm feeling better, you know, I mean, granted, I still sleep all the time, but you can thank the blue can for that, most likely, if I had to guess. It's just crazy to think how much your diet can affect your appearance. Now I know it can make subtle changes. I mean, you've seen, you know, people do stuff to themselves and make changes. I mean, you've seen, you know, people taking pharmaceuticals, let's just say that, that they shouldn't have been taking. And you see their face gets all out of control and they age like 50 years. So yeah, I understand that, but I didn't know, I didn't understand fully how just regular food can actually do the same thing to you. But yeah, this is a good challenge. If you're watching this, try it out. You don't even have to make it a challenge. Do it in the comfort of your own home, in your kitchen. Just make it for you, the family. Enjoy yourself.
But just know, if you use this crunchy water, you need to put more in the realm of nutrition in it. And also this, these tomatoes, Mama Shaw won't eat them. She won't eat those red rings of death. Red ring of death tomato. Which is funny, she likes ketchup. She likes tomato sauce. But she won't mess with the tomatoes. Not raw ones. I don't even know she'll mess with stew ones unless it's been blended up. But yeah, she will avoid the red ring of death by any means necessary. Mm. Incredible. That's a lot. I think I'm done. I'll probably come back to this in a couple minutes, but for now I'm done. You know, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, right? If you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Join the peanut gallery. You know, our arms are open. We have room for you. We'll even leave the light on so you can find your way to us even in the dark. Also, if we're not connected on Instagram, go to Instagram, put my name in, Shraw Shraw, look for the great cat, connect. Because what I try to do is let you know what I got coming up next, so you're not guessing. If I'm not putting the video up, I won't put anything, I won't put a schedule or an announcement on Instagram. But if I have a video coming up, it will be on Instagram first, the announcement, before it hits YouTube. So keep that in mind. And again, go check out Get Lit With Mo. Pretty funny over there. I watched them, I've been watching them for a long time. In fact, my favorite a video of theirs, it was a waxing video. You know, hilarious. It involved that you know there was a stuffed unicorn involved. I think his name was Sebastian. Was it Sebastian? Something like that. And then Big Mac. Now Big Mac, I've been following him for a while as well. Now Big Mac, there's a video he has, and I always mess with him every chance I get when I put a comment uh, where he's doing uh, a, eating uh, pickle products. He has some pickled uh, pig feet. And there's one line in particular, and Big Mac, if you're watching this, you know where I'm heading. He goes to eat it, and he says, These pig feet ain't got no meat on them. And he bites them. And he just looks at the camera like, you know, just jelly. Because they're real gelatinous. And because I know that, it kills me every time. So yeah, go check those channels out. The links will be in the description. That being said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy your day. This is Shraw Shraw. I'm out.